Hey everybody, Brian here. So I just want to show you in this video what you get on the N-Line version of Tucson. So um, if you're curious and you're kind of researching the Tucson in general, I have this video here, um, which is much more kind of, um, the best way to think about this video is it'll actually show you the first, second and third models. So in other words, you're getting to see uh, a build up more or less so you have like the first model and the second model has the first model plus the second model and then the third model has the first plus second plus third so you can see how the features build up this video is just more for if you've got to the point where you're going right i understand what you get in the car i want to know what i get on this fourth model n line and the problem is with that other video the n line uh, i couldn't get my hands on it at the time uh, to do it so this video won't be very long so uh, i'm just going to show you the differences between the two of them so um basically the easiest way i can describe it is a nice end line like this uh, and this being the executive plus over here so this was kind of when the car came out this was like the top spec now one thing to point out end line is a plug-in so we don't have a non-plug-in end line at the moment so you're looking at diesel you're looking at hybrid i'm down here because it's windy you're looking at diesel or hybrid you can't get the end line so if you want to go diesel or hybrid as in non-plug-in hybrid self-charging you're going for executive sorry comfort plus or executive or executive plus like this if you're looking at plug-in however you can go comfort plus executive executive plus like that or you can also choose from an n-line as well so it is the highest spec that we get right obviously that has those really nice uh, lights on the rear but if you look at the rear bumper along here this one here has a really nice diffuser, which was uh, on the Executive Pluses, and it had the exposed exhaust. Fine. Okay, a little bit of rearrangement, just trying to get away from the wind and doing a bit of advertising for a uh, little. Right, so obviously lovely tail lights on an Executive Plus and an N-Line. Um, if you look down here, you have this um, garnish down along the bottom of the bumper with the exposed exhaust. However, when you look at an N-Line, it has these aero sections along through here, a little bit more aggressive looking, and it also has the red reflector along the top over here. And then this one has a kind of almost square triangular exhaust tip. Whereas this one here then has a more round exhaust tip. So again, just looking at the car, if you're behind it, you start to see it's a little bit more aggressive. And then if you look at the spoiler, spoiler and executive plus is like what you see on all the models of Tucson. Whereas this one over here then adds more aero along here, which complements the aero that was down there already. So I think it's fair to say, if you were you know, driving behind either of those cars, at a glance, you might think they're kind of similar looking, but once you look at the end line closely, then you really start to see it's much more aggressive looking along the rear. So really, really nice. Okay, so the next thing then is uh, the wheels on the car and the wheel arches, okay? So looking along down the side of the car, uh, you can see this one is a 19 inch wheel that comes on an executive plus, okay? So there is different sizes. You'll see in that other video that'll show you. This one here is a 19 inch wheel also as well. Both of them seem to come in Michelin tires, however, Look down the side of the car. This, all the Tucsons have this black section along here. Whereas on an N-Line, it's completely color coded. Now actually, this is like the worst color I could have picked to show you because it's a dark color anyway. But along here, you'll see black color coding. Um, so that sort of feeds around onto the back bumper. So along here, color coding, which actually I forgot to tell you. Whereas this one is black. So you see along here, nice and smooth. Uh, and actually I can't do now, uh, but there's nice LED reverse lights on this whereas this one is a standard halogen reverse light so this has two you know the really nice looking uh, upmarket uh, reverse lights but like you're saying color coding black and then you move color coding all the way down along here whereas this black plastic is following all the way down along here and then like we're saying then it is a 19 inch wheel now to be fair the executive plus has a 19 inch wheel but uh, this one is probably a more aggressive looking wheel Okay, so the front of the car, right? At a glance, to be fair, um, the grills are very, very similar. So look at the bottom. You've got a skid plate down here, which is like a brushed aluminium finish. This one has a skid plate along here, but they're slightly bigger on the end line. So that looks a lot bigger and longer and wider. Um, okay, the bottom of the bumper. So you see the way this has a kind of brushed aluminium section that's kind of smooth along there. And then you have the front bumper section that's smooth along there. This is more pronounced up here. So it's a dark kind of plastic uh, with these indentations again more kind of aero style uh, along through here so again it's probably easier when you look at the two of them side by side that section is fatter looking and more angular on the end line than it is on that uh, the biggest thing on an end line then you'll see at the front not the biggest thing but uh, one of the obvious denotations is in here it has an end line badge uh, whereas this one is a blank so again like i mean i suppose do you know what the end line is like it's like you know a standard kind of car but it has some nice 
extra features that just make it a little bit different. In terms of badging, you also have on the wing of an N-Line, you got a badge over here, whereas an Executive Plus or the other models don't. The mirror caps appear to be gloss black along here, where they're color coded on the other one. And then after that, uh, the Executive Plus, now not all models of Tucson, the first models like uh, Comfort Plus and Executive don't have it, but the Executive Plus always has the piece of chrome that goes along here, whereas this one is a gloss black finish. Uh, through there. Okay, in terms of the interior, so the Executive Plus was, like we're saying, for most uh, versions of the car, it is the highest spec. It comes with a full leather interior. Now, just make note, this is what the seat looks like, and also then make note of what the gearbox area looks like, which is like a brushed aluminium, and just make note in your head over here of this area here, and the round steering wheel. Okay, so let's move over. This is transport plastic. That is normally black, so there's no real difference there. However, what is different here is I've got N badging here. These buttons are all black. Uh, again, compared to the executive that we saw where they were all silver, like we said, this one is completely gloss black in through here. Now, the seating, again, making note in your head, the other one had this type of leather interior in through here, which, and to be fair, if you want an executive plus, some will come with a gray, kind of gray beige sort of leather, and some of them come with a black, whereas N line always comes with this red stitching. And this is half leather along the side. So leather here and here up the side, but the rest is a suede Alcantara. And then there's N badging in that section there as well. Staying on the theme of red stitching. So the other models of Tucson normally have kind of black stitching along the steering wheel. Whereas the N version has the N badge. It has red stitching in through here. And you see the kind of material, it's this perforated uh, sort of material on it as well. So not all the way around, it's perforated comes as far as here. Then it's smooth leather along here, but always with, it's hard to see there, always with the red stitching as well. The red stitching transfers onto uh, the armrest also as well. And even over here on the door card also. I see an Executive Plus over here then has some silver around that uh, area there. Whereas on the end line there, it's completely black. And I suppose the reason I think this is a good comparison is the way I would phrase it to someone, if they're looking at the different specs on a spec sheet or on the previous video I was telling you about, the end line is almost like an Executive Plus, a really high spec Executive Plus, but with the end line extras put onto it. There is one little variable that is, now by the way, if you're curious about plug-in hybrid, um, I have another video, which is this one here, and that'll go through the difference between, you know, what a plug-in hybrid is essentially in the Tucson range. Uh, one thing that's a bit of an anomaly you will find at the moment, some models of N-Line have come with power tailgates, which means, you know, it opens itself electronically, and some haven't. So that's something I can't be 100% sure on at the time of the video. It may or may not be available with a power tailgate. Whereas at the time of the video, any of the plug-in hybrid Executive Pluses we've seen, they always seem to come with the power tailgate, so not always essentially on the end line. The last thing then is end line has the cover at the moment, but it has these nice aluminium pedals. They're white covers over an actual aluminium pedal underneath. So anyway, uh, if you're con considering uh, an end line, oops, a bit windy, an end line Hyundai Tucson, then hopefully that video will give you a better idea of what to expect if you're buying the car. So like we're saying to you, three videos that might, well, two other videos that might be useful. This one here, which is going to go through all the specs for the first, second, and third models. Uh, and this other video here, which is going to go through things about the plug-in hybrid versus the normal hybrid. Uh, and then the video that you're watching, that's uh, just kind of saying to you, right, if you know all that information, and you're going for a N-Line, this is what you're going to get. So hopefully the video is useful. Thanks so many for watching. Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. We're based in Kildare Town. If there's anything you need to know, oh, it's 6843 1945.